Hello everybody, this is Big Right number two for the summer term two, which you will find instructions for on the home learning page of the school website. The picture that you're looking for and the Big Right that you're looking for is this one and it's called the Curious Parrot. So this one again comes with a story starter which I'm going to read to you but this one's going to be a little bit different to the other big rights we've been doing and I'll explain why when I've read the story starter. So the starter says the bird's eyes were gold coins shining brightly in the reflection of the camera's long lens. Holding his breath the photographer pressed lightly on the button to capture this magical moment. Click Click, click. Neither the parrot nor the photographer moved. Curiosity enveloped them both as they examined each other closely. Suddenly, the peace was disturbed. Now, the reason this one's a little bit different is because I want you to decide how you are going to finish the story starter. So you could write a story and tell me what happens next. Or, if you want to, you could write a poem about the curious parrot. We've also been learning how to write letters and postcards. So you could write a letter as though you are the photographer and write a letter to somebody telling them all about the curious parrot. Maybe you want to write an information text about parrots. It's up to you what media you choose to write about. It doesn't have to be a story today. It could be a poem, an information text, a story or a letter. It's up to you to choose what you would like to do. Remember, as always, the first thing you need to do once you've read the introduction to this piece of Big Write is to find words that you're maybe not sure of. So I've picked a few out. I've looked... I thought that some people might not know what the word reflection means. So that's one that you could go and investigate. Capture is another good word that you might not be sure of. And curiosity might be a word that you're not sure of. So any words in the starter, make sure you go and look at them with a grown up to find out what they mean before you even start to try to write. Now remember, as always, start your sentences with capital letters. Use capital letters for names and places as well. Make sure you're using finger spaces between your words and make sure you use appropriate punctuation at the end, such as a full stop, an exclamation mark or a question mark. Now, I'd also like to challenge you to join sentences together using the word and, but remember, that we don't really want sentences that have more than one and in them. Mrs Key has done some brilliant handwriting videos on the website to remind you how to form your letters correctly. So please make sure you are taking your time to write well-sized letters that are well-formed. Remember to start them in the right place and finish them in the right place, sitting them on the line properly. Okay, so everybody's looking forward to seeing what you decide to do and if you decide to do something different than a story and we hope you have a good time having a go at this big right. Speak to you again soon everyone. Bye for now.